So you've got some footage you want to slow down, but you want it to be super slow-mo. This is how you do it. So you have your clip in here of whatever it is, two bikes flipping, and you can see that they're, they're, they're flipping. So I want to start here for their slow motion. So you can either right click, go to retime controls and it will bring this up, or you can just control R and it brings it up as well. And you can see at the bottom, it says plus 100, that's the speed. And so if I want to start slow motion here as the legs are coming out, I'm gonna add a speed point. I'm gonna to go to where I want the slow motion to stop. So we're roughly where they put the legs back in. And I'm gonna add another speed point. Now you can see it's kind of split the clip up into three. So they've got three separate speed times. So you can either, Click on this and change the speed to whatever speed you want, so like 50%, and then it will slow down the 50% bit and then go back up to 100. Or you can just drag this top bit in and out and it will change the speed at the bottom as you can see there. Dragging the bottom one in and out just changes where the speed starts and stops in the clip. So we have it on 50%, and 100%. So as you watch it through, it just suddenly changes. What I found out is you can do this on any frame rate from what I know. So this footage that I downloaded is actually only 25 frames a second. So if you half the speed, it's gonna be jittery like this. It's not smooth slow motion. But if you come over to the real time scaling under video and change this to optical flow and motion to enhance better, it's automatically smooth slow motion. It fixes it for you, which is not an option in Adobe. So now we've got the slow motion, but it kind of just suddenly starts and then suddenly stops. So instead of it suddenly starting, suddenly stopping, we want to right click, go to real time curve, and under this drop down, change it to speed and uncheck the frame. And now, if I open this up a bit more, we can see we have speed controls down here. So what I wanna do is zoom in. There's a keyframe here, and I wanna select it and change it to this little button here. So that's just a straight line, we wanna change it to the curve. And we can change this however we please, apparently not on this footage, but just changing that auto automatically is a smoother transition to slow motion. And we'll do the exact same thing on the speed and back up again. So now when you watch it back, it smoothly goes to slow motion and then speeds up once more. And obviously you can change this however you like. You could change this bit of speed. You might want it to, I don't know, slow down even more. So you might want this, this one to be at 25% speed and then it changes to 50% just before they land. So you can add another point here and then change this one to 50% and you just copy the same process where you change these to make it easy, basically easy ease. And then you have it going really slow, which actually, because it's a 25 frames a second footage, it almost it adds like this cool warping effect. I think it's quite cool. It might not work depending on your footage, but for something like this with action, it actually looks all right. Adding a warp and then a little bit slower and then speed up again. And that is how you do a super speed in DaVinci Resolve.